All right, we are live now. Hello, everybody, as you're joining us. I am so excited to introduce you guys to Nielsa Alvarez, who is the director of Restore Government. And she also has a lot of other amazing accolades behind her, but that is what is relevant to today's talk. Um, and we're going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a teaser because next week on Thursday, and Nielsa will give us all these details, but um, we're going to be, Nielsa is hosting a panel talking about critical race theory, and I'm going to be one of the panelists. So it's going to be really good. So tell us more <laughs> about what the panel is going to be about, who the panelists are. Sure. So Latinos uh, for Tennessee is hosting this panel and it came at a great time because CRT keeps coming up on the news. It's like um, I'm just trying to scroll around and take a break from work and all of a sudden CRT is a problem here. CRT is a problem over there. I know. And I'm seeing it everywhere right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Governor DeSantis, boom, hit, knocking out CRT from the public school system. And then you see uh, Governor Bill Lee saying, well, yeah, it's a problem here too. We're going to make sure that's mm -hmm. not an issue. And then you see LinkedIn saying, oh, well, we had to boot this training because <laughs> it happens to be problematic. So it's like, what's the fuss, yeah. right? So that's what the webinar is about. It, it, it answers the question to many who have been seeing but not reading, you know, or that you've just been hearing about but not really listening. <laughs> because yeah. the truth is, well, you know, a lot of people that you got jobs, you got kids, you're busy, you're seeing that there's issues rising up, but you don't really know what they're about. Yeah. And it's so much coming in at the same time. It's good to sit down and say, okay, what's this about? And let's talk about it with people who researched it a bit and others who uh, have been affected by CRT or have something to say concerning that. So one of the, the people that's going to join us on the panel, you're going to love him. His name is Dr. Ming Wang. And 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 even though he's uh, uh, well, he's Chinese American, he's American by choice. But one that's of awesome. the amazing things about his testimony is that he's an eye doctor and he's a very, he's a wonderful physician, you know, in the eye doctor world, <laughs> but, um, and he has his own institute on vision care, amazing individual, humble person. But here's the thing, he deflected to the United States during the mm -hmm. cultural revolution in China. And one of the things he's going to actually pinpoint in our panel next week is some of the uh, party messaging within uh, what he's seen with the Chinese Communist Party, he sees a little bit of that in the critical race theory mm. here in, in America. So there's things that, you know, we usually don't see because we're, America's all we've known. But yeah. We have someone like Dr. Wing, Dr. Ming come in and say, I saw this. This, this is actually propaganda. It's part of, you know, uh, doing a political divide or, or, um, that race divide in a country so that that government has more power. And so he kind of pinpoints things like that. We have Reverend C.L. Bryant. He's an American Baptist minister and former radio host, African-American, awesome man of God. He's going to be sharing uh, what, what really uh, is alarming regarding CRT and how it affects the black community as much as any mm -hmm. other community. Yeah. If, if you know, so it's he's going to be joining us. Danny Vargas is someone else that's joining us. He's the founder and president of Varcom Solutions. And he's also the one behind establishing the first National Latino Museum in DC, where wow. they finally celebrate some Hispanic heritage. So I thought that's really cool. And, and yeah, I'm from a Hispanic and you're Hispanic too, although I know you culturally. Kind of yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because everybody thinks that like, I'm also ethnically Latina, which is a big compliment to me. Um, so my dad was born and raised in Peru. And so culturally my dad's whole side of the family is very Peruvian um, and grew up eating Peruvian food. I think it's the best food in the world. It is. But <laughs> uh, yeah, my dad's actually like ethnically Swedish. So I, I'm part of the melting pot of this country. <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is we all are. We all have a bit of everything. When you look into our DNA, that's why even Elizabeth Warren said, I got a little bit of Indian. <laughs> yeah. oh, she cracks me up with that one. <laughs> it's yeah. so true. So I'm uh, but yeah, I'm yeah, this is going to be amazing. Because I know you did some research on CRT. So how do you feel about coming yes. onto the panel as Miss Tennessee of 2020 and giving your feedback? 
I'm so excited to get to talk about this because as when I was the, the current title holder for Tennessee, I wanted to stay more politically neutral on things because I was representing all of Tennessee. And so it's been really fun now to be able to share a little bit more um, bluntly <laughs> the things that, that I believe are really important. And I think critical race theory is one of those things that we have to address. Um, and you know, I think a lot of people, when they hear that um, you're against critical race theory, they immediately think that you are against ending racism or, or wanting to um, make sure that there is equality between races. Um, and I think that's really the opposite of my heart. My heart is that I do want to see racism addressed where it exists. And I do want to see those issues resolved. But I think that critical race theory actually causes more issues. And kind of like what you were saying, that it actually ends up harming the black community more than it ends up helping. And so I'm excited for us to, to delve into that more on Thursday because it's it's a big passion of mine. And I see it really wreaking havoc, especially on my generation. And um, we've got to just kind of like unmask it because it's 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 disguised. It's really a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's disguising itself as something that is compassionate and kind, but it actually brings destruction. Um, and so we got to know how to spot it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many things out there that they have a noble name for a reason. Mm -hmm. And and it's, and it's because they want you to think you're, you're behind something positive, yeah. but then all of a sudden it, it, all these little things are in it that are really not positive. You know, mm -hmm. for example, we all know that black lives do matter. I love uh, how many friends my Yes. I mean, my, my grandfather was black. I mean, just like, it's just, you know, my brother, nephew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I so mean, I, it's definitely not a lack of caring about black lives. And I can confidently say that statement, it's the organization which has aligned itself with critical race theory that that is really problematic and um, clearly. And I think that's some of the differentiation that has to be made. And especially, you know, I'm coming from like a, a somewhat more religious background, not not religious in a negative sense, but my parents pa being pastors and being in ministry my entire life, I see that it's really critical that the church also mm -hmm. is aware of this because um, churches are wanting to address what's going on racially and accidentally adopting a lot of critical race theory concepts. Um, and they don't realize that ultimately they it destroys the church. That's part of the goal of it. And so mm -hmm. we, we really, as Christians, have to be vigilant in are we allowing something um, that is pretending to look like it has the values that Jesus represented to us of love and compassion and justice, but is maybe actually, like I was saying, a wolf in sheep's clothing, um, something that's going to ultimately bring destruction and, um, and lead people away from the Lord instead of to him. Exactly. And you know, what better manual on loving others and addressing racism at the root than the Bible? Because with the Bible, yeah. we learned that racism is beyond an issue, or should I say it's not an issue of skin, but an issue of sin. And it's mm -hmm. the condition of the heart. And I'm excited to invite everyone to our our uh, webinar on CRT. Yeah, give us the upcoming. details on this. Yeah, so it's this upcoming May 6th, Thursday, May 6th at 1 p.m. Central Time. So if you're on Eastern, on the Eastern side like I am, It'll be two o'clock. So one o'clock central, two o'clock Eastern. And it's going to be at the link provided. And I know that uh, Justice is going to go ahead and share with you all the Zoom link yes. that you guys can register at. Now, if you I shared it in the description, I'll share it again before Thursday. Awesome. So click on the link in the description, register. And even if the time conflicts with your work schedule, You'll be able to watch the playback because you registered. So if you register, you're able That's to awesome. access the playback link because you'll get an email with the playback link. Now, I just want to remind you, things take time. So if you missed it or if you only caught some of it and then you want to see the replay, it may take a day or so for us to get the replay link out to everyone because we download the video. We make sure it looks great before right before we uh send it out again so just as i'm so excited you're gonna be joining us on this panel i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun thank you so much for having me i'm really really pumped and like we're talking it's just such an important issue right now yep 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 and we love if you're black white red yellow all the colors <laughs> just offended you for naming colors <laughs> god is a god of rainbow colors mm -hmm. <laughs> he created every color 
And let me tell you, it, um, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you look like. God created us in his image and what greater yeah. seal of, of glory, honor, and, and value than that. So let's value each other the way God values us. Mm -hmm. If we do that, the whole world is transformed overnight. Amen. Awesome. Okay. Well, everybody, we'll see you guys on Thursday. I'll be sharing the link again, so make sure to keep following along on Johnny and Elizabeth's Facebook page, and we'll see you guys then. See you there.